It's, it's my pleasure and uh, honor to be part of this uh, conference. I'm uh, using the important subject, improving IO uh, calculation in dry eye patients. Uh, it's my honor and pleasure to, uh, to introduce this important subject, improving IO calculation in uh, dry, uh, dry eye uh, patients. Uh, you know, dry eye is a very common condition. It uh, consists about 5 to 50 percent of uh, populations. Sometimes it's reaching uh, to 75 percent of some population. It's more in elderly patient and more in uh, female. Uh, prevalence of ocular dysfunction uh, in patient presenting for cataract surgery evaluation. Uh, we can see about uh, abnormal of uh, osmolarity in about 57% uh, of the patient, and abnormal MMP9 uh, uh, about 60%, and 85% of asymptomatic patients have abnormal TFL uh, breakup time, uh, and 39% according to some study have uh, corneal staining. So overall, 80% of uh, patients have some abnormality of uh, uh, tests like MMP, uh, MMP9, osmolarity or corneal staining, uh, uh, presenting those patients uh, uh, for cataract surgery. How do I affect uh, the biometry, uh, the, the, the dry eye to, on the eye? It affects topography, it uh, induces high order operation, it affects uh, visual acuity and refraction, it can change K reading, change corneal thickness, cause inaccurate biometry, cause dissatisfaction after premium IOL implantation and dissatisfaction after lace-based refractive surgery. In this, uh, in this example, we can see clearly how uh, it uh, was inaccurate biometry. Uh, before tr uh, treatment, uh, the, the case have uh, K reading about 47. After treatment, one, one week of treatment, is decreased to 45, uh, K reading to 45 uh, diopters. So imagine the intraocular uh, lens power before uh, treatment was 11, and after treatments is becoming uh, 13 and a half, about two diopters uh, hyperopic shift uh, if we uh, depend on the period uh, treatment uh, of uh, before treatment of the dry eye in, in, those, in this patient. In accurate topography, we can see uh, this patient with corneal staining and uh, hot spot which is improved after giving treatment. According to this study, uh, for improving accuracy of intraocular lens power calculation. Uh, this study, uh, a patient will, uh, underwent uneventful cataract surgery, where it was, in, was included, were included in this study. Two groups, uh, treatment and uh, non-treated patient, about 52 uh, non-treated patient and uh, pre-treated patient, about 53 uh, eyes. Uh, in pre-treatment group, they, they are treated with topical otipridanol and uh, cyclosporine for two weeks before uh, before cataract surgery. Refractive surprise was defined as mean absolute error more than uh, 0.75 uh, diopters. So in a treatment, uh, non-pre-treatment group, uh, the, uh, by ocular biometry was done uh, two days before surgery, and uh, refraction. Uh, and a refractive error assess uh, assessment was done one month after surgery. In this, uh, in this study, we can see clearly a significant improvement uh, in the refractive outcome uh, in treated group patient. In non-treated uh, patient, about 70% have refractive su uh, surprise more than 0.75 uh, uh, diopters, decreasing to about 3%. Uh, so this study concluded uh, the accuracy of our power, uh, power calculation prediction can be increased by actively treating dry eye prior, uh, prior to cat cataract surgery. Uh, this constant erosion can cause irregular uh, k-reading uh, and can affect uh, also visual outcome. Uh, and this study shows the effect of cyclosporine treatment uh, up to the efficacy about in the uh, biometry. This, uh, those patients have already dry eye, uh, have corneal staining uh, and tearful breakup time uh, less than 10 uh, seconds. Uh, cyclosporine was given, biometry uh, was done before cyclosporine treatment and one month later also biometry was done with other measurement. Uh, surgery done one, one month after giving cyclosporine and as the patient was assessed. Also in this study, there was significant, uh, significant improvement of accuracy of uh, absolute refractive errors. 
uh, worse than uh, 0.75 diabetes was observed in 30 patients and uh, worse than uh, 50 uh, percent on those with treated eye with cyclosporine. High order ablation also improved. So uh, this study concludes use of topical cyclosporine uh, twice daily for 28 days before cataract surgery in patients with dry eye produced a statistically significant improvement in prediction of error of the spherical equivalent outcome of the surgery. This is another study, pilot study by, done by Hong uh, Lenho, uh, shows uh, how the dry eye conclude how it can cause a hyperopic uh, shift. Okay. This another study shows the effect of liptigras on the refractive outcome. Also, uh, it's given uh, for one month before surgery, uh, then uh, uh, biometry was done. And uh, this study concludes a significant improvement of accuracy of preoperative uh, biometry in prediction, postoperative uh, spherical equivalent refractive error, improving high order abrasion RMS, significant improvement of corneal st staining. Uh, so, uh, for optimal outcome, even a symptomatic refractive cataract surgeon uh, patient need uh, treatment of dry eye before biometry is prevalent as a conclusion of this study. This is another study shows the measurement. Uh, of uh, repeatability of corneal curvature radius with, uh, was decreased in uh, sorry was uh, was decreased in eye with dry eye patient compared compared to the normal eye. Uh, shortened breakup time were uh, were related to the reduction in measurement of uh, repeatability and of corneal curvature radius and axial length. So the take home message: addressing dry eye uh, disease uh, proactively, proactively is essential, despite adding time to the preoperative workup and occasionally delaying the active actual surgery for optimizing optimization of uh, ocular surface. Uh, by not uh, diagnosing and treating dry eye pri to the, prior to the surgery, the risk of uh, patient dissatisfaction is increased because of potential error in the power and access of eye all post operatively and discomfort and issue with fluctuation in vision and overall poor quality of vision. Uh, this is our take promise. Thank you.